Good evening, I'm Peter Dow. We want to update you on the stories we're working on. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Detectives are investigating a deadly police shooting that happened right in front of the Inglewood Police Department. Investigators say officers fired at a man when he pointed a weapon at them as they left the station last night. The weapon turned out to be a BB gun. The Alex Theater in Glendale evacuated because of a bomb threat. Sky 2 was over the scene on Brand Boulevard. The gay men's chorus of Los Angeles was performing there. Some people tweeted that they were told to evacuate after the first song. A search team went in and the show will resume at 8 p.m. once they get the all clear. City leaders are kicking off a new initiative called Complete Streets. Ground was broken today in Van Nuys on the first of six improvement projects. Roads and sidewalks are being repaired and traffic signals are being improved. The overall cost of the project is nearly $80 million and it'll take two years to complete. Well, this year's Gay Pride Parade was renamed the Blaze Forward Orange County Pride Parade. It was in honor of the college student Blaze Bernstein who was killed while on a holiday break earlier this year. Today, his parents, Jeannie and Gideon Bernstein, were given a special plaque in his honor. Now here's Amber Lee with a look at the weather. Hey, Amber. Hi, Peter. We have that June gloom that stuck around just a little bit longer for some of our beach communities. And because of that strong inversion, it kept things a little bit cooler this afternoon. So you can see temperatures right now mainly in the 70s, but we're expecting that coastal eddy to really kick in much more of the cloud cover as we head into the overnight hours. We have a little bit of that sea breeze right along the coast. Stronger winds for Lancaster and also for Apple Valley in the double-digit territory. With that marine influence, we could even see some drizzle being squeezed out of the clouds as we head into Sunday morning. But inland, and as you get away from the coast, hot and breezy because that high pressure system is still a dominant feature. We still have that warning, excessive heat warnings that is for the Mojave Desert until later tonight. And then just to the north of us in Kern County, we have a heat advisory until Sunday night. So there's that high pressure system. It will continue to get closer to us. So that means even warmer temperatures starting Monday through the middle of the week. And then that high pressure system starts to scoot off closer to Texas. And that's going to keep temperatures slightly cooler by the time we head into the rest of the week. But again, Sunday will be a repeat of today. Temperatures will make mainly be in the 70s and 80s. We'll have that June gloom clearing by the afternoon and then even warmer once we head into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday before things cool right back down again as we head into this upcoming weekend. All right, Amber, thanks. Join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6 and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all of our top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. I'm Peter Dowd. Have a great evening.